big warning. Please hold all your bitcoins this way because else. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Yes, run BTC. Guys, in today's video, I have amazing charts. I also have amazing warnings for you guys because something happened, and I will talk about this in the news, that you need to be aware of that can be happening at all those centralized institutions. Also, guys, yes, an inspirational quote at the end from this beautiful garden, and I will come back a little bit to yesterday when I talked about the inspirational quote uh, about that motorcycle driving without a license. I want to talk a little bit more about that, just a little bit to answer your questions, but why I ask that question again, but now in a very clear way so you understand my way of thinking as well. Now let's quickly jump into the news because that's way more important than that discussion. The news first. Bam. In the news, guys, a Canadian crypto exchange EZBTC gambled away 9.5 million dollar worth of bitcoins of their clients. It was around 935 bitcoins and around 160 ether I think something like that but that was gambled away by the owner of EZBTC which was a Canadian exchange so this is probably a regulated exchange because it's in Canada. Now we can see, because of the blockchain, it's completely transparent, that funds were transacted directly to two gambling sites or to the owner's wallet. I think his name was James Smiley's or Jack Smiley's. Smiley's, he's smiling. <laughs> he's definitely smiling, I think. But, but these Bitcoins are transferred directly to two gambling websites or from the exchange directly to his private account and then to that gambling website. So $9.3 million has been gambled. These were funds of the clients. And they were used to gamble by the CEO of Easy BTC on gambling websites. Now, this is something that can happen with centralized exchanges. If you have a centralized exchange like Easy BTC or like Binance or even Bybit as a centralized exchange, of course, they could be doing that. Now, the beautiful thing of Bybit is that they are completely transparent. You can see proof of funds. You can see all the funds that they say that are in the exchange. You can even see all of those funds in the wallets. So if you have like 10 Bitcoins in Bybit, you can see them also in the Bybit wallet address. You can see, hey, those 10 Bitcoins are there. So yes, the funds of all the people combined are there. At EasyBTC, those funds were not there. They were at the gambling website. So be aware of this. The moment you store your Bitcoins on any centralized exchange, guys, any centralized exchange, that is the moment you trust those exchanges with your Bitcoins. They can do what they want with those Bitcoins, just like your bank can do with your fiat currency, whatever they want with that fiat currency, because you become a creditor of the bank. You lend the bank your money. You lend that exchange your Bitcoins. The moment you take your Bitcoins from that exchange into cold storage, a hardware wallet or a software wallet on your telephone, whatever it is, or just a paper wallet, like a traditional one, or a more wallet, yes, or metal plates, whatever you prefer. But the moment you take those bitcoins of the exchanges into your own custody, that is the moment nothing can happen to your bitcoins. And yes, you will still be able to trade because you can send always back a few of your Bitcoins to the exchange to trade. Or you can use your wallet to connect it to a decentralized exchange like Apex Pro. If you want to sign up to Apex Pro, there's a special bonus at the moment going on. Use the link down below. Apex Pro is a decentralized exchange. You just connect your wallet with that exchange and you will be able to trade spot and leverage. The new Omni version of Apex Pro gives you a shitload of possibilities. So please try this out. Use the link down below. Sign up to Apex Pro, connect your wallet and trade from your wallet. Whatever happens to Apex Pro, nothing will happen to your cryptos on your wallet. They can't use them to go to a gambling website, just like EasyBTC in Canada. And that is exactly, guys, why I trade on Bybit. Because Bybit is, for me, the number one exchange when it comes to spot trading, perpetual trading, inverse perpetual trading, all kinds of trading. Bybit, for me, is the number one. They give the biggest amount of their fees back to the community. Huge bonuses when you sign up, up to $30,000. US There is now a $500 airdrop. They keep giving back to the community. Yes, they make a shitload of money, but they keep giving back. And that is why Bybit is growing and it will become the biggest exchange out there. It will surpass Binance in a couple of years, in my opinion. 
look at the growth they already did. So when you choose your exchange, choose an exchange that has a good team, a good CEO, that doesn't need to gamble, etc. Not like easy BTC. Choose Bybit, my preferred one, Blowfin, non-KOSC, top bonus over there, Ninja Kawasaki, Tesla 3, and many other things that you can win if you use my link to sign up this month. And number three, Apex Pro. Apex Pro is the best decentralized exchange out there, guys. So please use one of those three exchanges by signing up using my links down below, guys. And for the Dutch people, there is a news item today because Bybit is coming back with the Bybit debit card. So for all the Dutch, you can sign up now using my link to Bybit. You can already apply for the Bybit debit card. You will receive $20 as a present because you apply. Plus, you can also win an extra thousand US dollar if you make a cool video about why you like the Bybit debit card or why you applied for the Bybit debit card. So yes, the Bybit debit card for all Dutch people is coming back. You need to sign up using my link between 1 August and the 31st of August to be able to apply for the debit card, receive the $20 and have the chance of winning thousand dollar. Guys, now that was all the news for today. Now let's jump into the charts. The first chart for today, guys, is this uh, four hour chart. On the four hour chart, guys, we can see buy signal happened. I was talking about it yesterday. We needed to close the candle above the stepping line. We did over there. Uh, at that moment, we should have taken the trade because the yellow and the blue was turning green. You see this green bar over there. The blue was above the white line. The white line was turning up. Amazing credible confirmation again. Um, and yes, that trade would now be in profit. The target of the trade should be here at 63,000 level, guys. We should um, run into this resistance first over here of the Bollinger Band, which is 61,500. And we break that. If we break that, then we will take it to 63. If not, guys, we take profits over here. And we have a small trade profit, but we still have a profit. So that's how the four hour trades works. Of course, most traders trade on a shorter time frame. Yes, it also works on a shorter time frame. Let me go to the 15 minute, for example, to show over there how the indicator is performing. Um, here, the buy signal, candles closing above the yellow stopping line, but it was still blue and yellow. We don't take that trade. We wait for the candles to close above the yellow stopping line and to see green. So we have green on the bottom, green line on top, blue above the white, the wine turning up. That is where we take a trade. These are not huge trades, but when you take a trade over there, uh, and you, you, know, you take your profits over there, like it's a 0.5% trade without leverage. If you take the profit at the top, it's a 1% trade without leverage. But it's the 15 minute chart. So that's a nice trade. And sometimes, you know, if bigger trades, um, if you look, for example, over here, this one also over there, oh, buy signal, green, blue above the white line. If you take that trade, for example, over there, here, this buy signal, look, that's a bigger trade again. You know, that's like a 2.3% trade. So that is how the uh, indicator setup also works on the shorter time frames. To get access to this indicator setup, you go to the bitcoinfamily.com and that will uh, redirect you to yolofamilytravel.com because we are moving our website to back to the old domain, YOLO Family Travel. But yes, soon it also will show the bitcoinfamily.com. And there you will go to products and then you will find, for example, the VIP membership. And that VIP membership gives you access to all of the indicator setup and much more. Yes, a Telegram group and many other things, as you can see on the website. Just go check that out, guys. Now, let's go and zoom out to the daily channel. On the daily channel, yesterday I told you, hey, please be aware that uh, on the daily channel, we have something playing out. And I told you here that blue line was gonna cross the red line. We touched that yellow line, and then these bars will start to turn green when that blue line crosses that red line. Now, this is the beginning again of a bullish period. So this bullish period should bring us back above that 200 day moving average. That is now the target. We need to break above that red line. And we have a couple of days to do that till the end of the week, because if you look to the weekly chart, and this green candle already is a very beautiful green candle after a large wick, a green candle that will close in four days. In four days, this needs to be a positive candle, like maybe a little bit higher. And then we can build another candle, a little bit higher. And that will probably break that 200 day moving average around 62,000 uh, dollars and close the candle above it. And that is very bullish again in a bull market. So these were the charts on TradingView. Please uh, remember that if you want to trade these signals, everything else that I talk about, 
then uh, please use the links to sign up to Bybit, Blowfin or Apex Pro down below my videos because these are the trusted exchanges, the best exchanges out there. They give you the biggest bonuses. I have verified these exchanges. They are very transparent. So these are the best. These are the top three of the whole industry. Bybit, KYC, but you can get a debit card. Blowfin, non-KYC, you don't get a debit card. And yes, Apex Pro decentralized use the links down below now let's jump into some more interesting charts over here guys um, this one this chart guys is showing you the trend accumulation score by cohorts so you can see that at the moment these are uh, by bitcoin the wallets like this is bigger than 10k this is 1 to 10k this is 100 to 1k 10 to 100 now we can see that for example over here these wills start accumulating again this is where you see these blue blocks here is number one level, this is a zero level, so this is a lot of accumulation here happening again at those larger wallets. Here also at those larger wallets. This is very important to see that the 1 to 10k and the bigger than 10k wallets are accumulating. As the larger wallets are accumulating at the moment, this is very interesting to see. And every time when that happens, the price reacts and goes up. So we are expecting again a price to rise up. Interesting chart. Now, then we have this chart. We can see the moving average convergence divergence, also referred to as the MACD indicator, is also turning positive now again. Why we can see this over here? We bounce at this level. The red is decreasing. The blue and the red are now crossing over here. The price will react and go up. Look just like it happened over here. This happened. Look what happened after this with the price. Bam, up. We will see this here happening now again. The price will react and will go up. It is as simple as that. And then we will turn green again. And that green area, we will be taking some profits for the short term, long term, zooming out, looking at the bigger picture. And that bigger picture is still this picture, guys. The bigger picture takes us all the way. Let me put my face on the right spot somewhere that's not like in the screen over there, small at the top. That bigger picture brings us towards the bull market in 2025. This is where we started after the halving. And now we are at this point, we are underperforming at the moment, the red, the yellow, the dark, and the light green lines. We were outperforming them in the beginning, but then the dip happened. And the dip now makes these, this line go down below those other four lines. And those other four lines, to be very clear, are the other bull markets. So this is the third halving bull market, the red one is its second halving bull market. This is the average growth directory, there's a midline here, it's the average one, and this is the after the first halving. So this is the green one, the green one 2013-14 to the red one 2017 top. This one is the 2021 top, the yellowish one. Now we are now the orange one. We are still in this area where all those other lines also went pretty sideways at least the yellow and the orange one. From here, after 150 days, all of these went massively up. We are nearing that moment. That moment will be end of September, mid to end of September, where we will be turning up with the price from this level. Is that target going to be the same as the 2021 run? We might end up above 500,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. Will we perform like the 2017 bull market? Yes, we will go above a million. An average run, yes, also above a million. 2013, 14, 4 million, that's not gonna happen. Will we underperform all of these other lines? Then we would probably end up somewhere in this area. And that area is above 100K, guys. That area is between 100 and 160K, just like I've been telling you all the time. If we would underperform it, if I would draw a line, let me see if I can draw a line, if we would underperform this one, go up and down, up and down, you know, something like this, up and down, and then the top comes in over there, and then we come down, and then, up, up, and then you know, we fall back down, up, down, and then uh, uh, something like this. The line is gone again, so I do it again. Sorry, the line disappeared, something like this, whatever it is that I threw. Look, bear market bottom over there. That would mean if we go above 100k and have a bottom above 60k because that was the halving level, uh, and then again build up, you know, into that next bull market, just something like this. And then we come down, you know, this is how the bull markets normally go. So 
above one of k still for me is underperforming all the other bull markets, but still a beautiful performance for Bitcoin. That was my last chart. I hope you really enjoy the charts, guys. Yes, the charts are showing you beautiful trading opportunities every day again because of the volatility, just like the weather here is going up and down. Today we have a rainy day, tomorrow the sun will be shining, or maybe this afternoon again. But in trading, in the short term, there's always these changes, always these possibilities to make profits. If you're not a trader, you refer to yourself as an investor. You step back, you look at the bigger picture, you analyze the four-year cycle, you understand that Bitcoin will go up and down and up and down. You don't freak out about those minute charts. You just zoom out and look at that bigger picture. And that is what we should be doing now with Bitcoin. Yes, August, September could be bearish months. After the halving, 50 to 150 days, mostly a sideways movement. Like I've been showing you a chart many times already, between 50 and 150 days. That's about two months to all the way five months. Two to five months sideways movements after the halving. Halving was in April, May, June, July, August, September. Five months. October, November, December, bam, bullish months. So accumulate Bitcoin as much as you can around these levels. That's the only thing I can say because I am looking at that bigger picture. And that bigger picture tells me the top will be in 2025. So these are amazing moments to buy that dip. Just buy the dip. Buy the dip, zoom out, enjoy your life, and check the charts again somewhere in 2025, September, October, November, because there you will be taking profit. If you keep watching my videos, I will, uh, of course, tell you when I'm taking profit. Now, let's jump into the last part of the video. Guys, uh, one more part, the inspirational part. It starts to rain again, I need to be quickly. And the inspirational part for the day has also to do with the thing yesterday. Uh, first of all, about yesterday. Yesterday I said, I want my daughter to drive a scooter bike without a driving license, and I just want to know what the fine was. Now, a lot of comments again, a lot of comments. A lot of people don't understand my mindset. Short but powerful explanation, like that 30 seconds. When I grew up, when I was 16 years old in the Netherlands, we were able to drive a scooter without a license. You know why? Because a license didn't exist. It was not there. There was no license. You just bought a scooter and you started to drive the scooter. And that way we did it for years, decades. There has never been a scooter driving license all the way up till I turned like 20 or something. So it's not strange for me to believe that my daughter of 19 is able to drive a scooter without a license because we have all done it. All people of my age category, like the year of 78, we all grew up without a scooter driving license, without a bicycle driving license. With all that pampering of the government, we grew up and we drove our bikes and scooters everywhere where we wanted. And there were no accidents. There are more accidents now that there is a scooter license. Just check the numbers. There's more accidents happening nowadays with those scooter licenses than there were when we didn't have a license. Do you know why? Because when you didn't have a license, you always drove like carefully because you knew you were new with driving. You just drove carefully. And now the old thing, they have a license, they're all Max for step and they can drive like the F1 on the highway, whatever they do. So that's coming back to yesterday. I grew up without a license. I think we should stop all the pampering of the government and the pampering all has to do with money. They want your money, more, more, more. You need to pay for licenses, etc. money. And we just grow back to that life that we had a freedom life where we were not pampered like a baby every day. Now, the inspirational quote for the day is anger is an emotional punishment of yourself because of someone else's behavior. So uh, you are emotionally punishing yourself. That is exactly what anger is. Somebody does something that you don't like, you become angry and you punish yourself emotionally because of becoming angry. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? So anger is an emotional punishment of yourself because of somebody else's behavior. You, we should all stop doing that. If you become angry on yourself because of your own mistakes or because of what you did wrong yourself, then I understand you become angry. Or if you like bump your head 10 times against a stone or something like that, yes, you should be become angry on yourself. But whenever you become angry about somebody else's character or doing, you are emotionally punishing yourself for something that somebody else is doing. That's something very illogical. We should just be ignoring it. 
ignore whatever they are doing, because that is the strategy of the government. Divide and conquer. Make sure people are angry at each other, they will start to fight with each other, they will cause emotional punishment for themselves because of the opposite parties, what they are doing, and that is how we distract them and we can roll out all the plans that we want to roll out. That's exactly the game that governments play. And that game will only work when we will keep punishing ourselves emotionally because of anger on what other people are doing. The moment we start to respect each other again for our opinions and we live by live and let live, that is the moment the world will turn into a normal world again where we are not constantly fighting each other about these stupid things in life. Fighting all about LMTBQ, fighting about Black Lives Matter, fighting about pro-COVID, against COVID, fighting about with face mask, no face mask. We are always fighting. And why? Because they give us reasons to fight. And who is giving us those reasons to fight? The government, those centralized entities that I always preach against. They are giving us all these reasons to fight. The next reason will be a war. And the next reason will be another pandemic. And then there are reasons after that, like the bird flu. And the reason after that, there will always be a reason for you and me to fight. Even the Olympics, having a man winning the boxing finals in a women league. Yes, he has a man. He has the chromosomes of a man. So he is a man. In my opinion, he should not be able to compete in a women's league. But that led to a shit of discussions all over the world. People becoming angry because of what somebody else did. The Olympic Committee allowed a man to beat up a woman. So other people become angry. So emotionally punishing themselves because they are doing something they don't have influence on. I know, I also felt that anger. I also felt like, fuck it. Why are they doing this? This is not like honest. Can you also swim as a man in the women's competition and then beat all the women with swimming because a man just has more muscles? I don't know if that would be honest. That would not be really the Olympics anymore, would it? But that anger that comes up, that anger, you need to like let that anger go. Because if you use that anger, you're emotionally punishing yourself for what they are doing. And we should all not be doing that. We should emotionally supporting each other and fight those centralized entities together. That is what we should do. We should be uniting. We should be saying, hey, they are playing this chess game with us. We are just pawns. But we pawns collectively now should fight those parties that want to destroy us all, that want to keep us poor, that want to like destroy our world that we collectively are living in. If it is the UK, if it is Spain, if it is France, if it is the Netherlands, whatever country it is, we should collectively be living there and understanding collectively that together we are stronger than those centralized one, two, three, four, five percent of people that want to control our lives. And I believe that Bitcoin is a huge, huge, huge tool to do that. Because the moment we start to withdraw all currencies from the centralized entities, put those currencies into Bitcoin, our money that they don't have control on, that is the moment we grab power back to the people. As long we will keep using their currency, they will be in control. The moment we start to use our currency, we will be in control. Simple as that. If you keep living as sheep, running after that centralized boss, then we will never break free of that circle that we are living in at the moment. That control circle that is becoming tighter and tighter and tighter because of the social credit system, because everything going digital and everything through the hands of that government, the centralized government that we don't even get the chance to vote for anymore. Because if we vote, they just make something up and they choose somebody else. So please understand that Bitcoin for me is not only there to enrich ourselves materialistic. Bitcoin is the path, the gateway to freedom in any kind of way. That is very important to understand. Bitcoin is the gateway to freedom in any kind of way. 
that was everything for today guys i hope you really enjoyed today's video again and that rant at the end if you did enjoy the video then please give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment let me know what you think about the charts about everything else and yes this video was again a little bit longer for all those people that were complaining when is your holiday over we need longer videos this one was a little bit longer i'm not going to jump in the pool because it's raining maybe tomorrow next time i will jump in the pool bitcoin needs to be around 65k bam bomadieu Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day. See you tomorrow again.